Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add subtitles, captions, or credits to your videos. So in this example right here, I have multiple subtitles. So let's take a look at this. And so the very first subtitle has a black background. This one has a transparent background. And this one has larger font with the blue background. And then finally, I have some credits. So as you can see from this example, you could add multiple subtitles or captions and a credit all with different styles, background color, and font sizes. So let me show you how to do this. So first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to hide this track. And then you're going to go down to the video clip that you want to add the subtitle to. And you want to make sure it's selected. And then right click on your mouse. And you're going to add either a video track or insert track. So once you've done that, a brand new video track will be added above your original video clip. So now you can actually add the text itself. So we're going to go up here to open other and text. Or you could go to File, Open Other, and then under Generator, there's text, and then type in the text that you want. So I'm just going to type in some text right here. Say OK. So once you've done that, you won't be able to see your video clip, but you will be able to see the brand new text that you created. So all you have to do is drag this text down to your brand new video track and it'll insert it down here. So now we have our subtitle. So if you choose the actual video clip, you won't see the borders around that text. And there we go. But now it's time to actually adjust this text. So we'll go back up here to our text track. And then you'll go down here to filters. Because all this is is a simple text filter. So with the text filter, you can adjust the text. You can change the font color, font style and sizes, the outline color and thickness, background color, padding. You could also change the positioning of this text as well. And you can also change the horizontal fit. Right now it's center. You can go left, right. I'll leave it at center. And then vertical fit, the default is top. But you can also choose middle and bottom. I'm going to leave that on bottom. And if you look at this now, it looks more like a normal subtitle in the right place. And I'm going to make some further adjustments to this. So I don't specifically like outlines. So I'm going to go ahead and put that thickness down to zero. And say you wanted to add a background color as well. We'll go here. I'm going to choose a blue color. So now we have a background color. And if you wanted to add padding, you can as well. So you could just adjust that right here. But say, for example, you actually wanted some space in between the text at the end and at the beginning. The easiest way to do that is go to your text and use the space bar. And it's going to add some spaces in between that. So you really can put whatever you want. So I'm going to add just one space right here and here. And there you go. You now have your subtitles or captions or credits. And the hardest part in doing this is actually creating the text and the timing. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So say for example, you are done with this text dialogue for this portion of your clip and you wanted to add another one. So the easiest way to do that is to simply copy this block of text and paste it. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this right here. We'll adjust that right there. I'm going to do a control C and then wherever the playhead is at, you just paste it with control V. And now we have our second dialogue of subtitles right here. And that's all you have to do. And then the final thing I want to show you is that you can uh, make this transparent again. If you go to that text track, go to background color, all you have to do is set the alpha channel down to zero. And now it's transparent. And also, if you want to adjust the size and positioning, you could easily do that with just moving it like this. And then you could choose these borders right here. And you can adjust the size as well. So that is it for how you could actually add subtitles, captions, or credits to your videos. And as I stated earlier, where you're going to be spending most of your time is creating a text and all the timings to make sure that it matches up with your video. But other than that, this is a fairly easy process. And so if you actually had any thoughts on this or maybe some of your own ways that you do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you want to see more of my shotcut tutorial tips and tricks, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. 
Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.